What's up, my name is Spencer, and in this video, I'm gonna run through the Mugwort that I use super often, and I'm gonna show you how I use it and how I add texture to my text. Yeah, let's just get right into it. Let's just dive quickly into the parameters. We have the frame rate, which is basically how smooth the animation will look, and the sweet spot, I think, is anywhere from like six to 12. And then we have the wiggle speed here um, at six and the wiggle amount too. So but yeah, it depends what you're going for. So that's that. And I'm gonna show you a use case adding texture to this text. You can do this with pretty much any layer. All it is is a, a track map. But um, first you need some actual texture. So to grab some quick textures to demonstrate, I'm gonna head over to MixKit. MixKit provides three assets for video creators to download and use, and they're all free. High quality stock video clips, music tracks, and Premiere Pro templates. There's no sign up for MixKit or any attribution required to use the assets. They have a constantly growing library with new video assets being added every week. So if you need more video, music tracks, or some templates for your next video, I would definitely suggest that you check out mixkit.co. Okay, so I've gone through and downloaded some videos that I think could work as texture on Mixkit. First clipped up, we had just have like a, um, a paint swirl basically. So super simple, I'm gonna throw on a track mat um, on the text layer and hit the layer above and turn it to Luma. And there's a weird glitch with Premiere that turns everything black and white, which honestly sometimes is helpful. But if you just reverse the layer stack, so if I just move the actual video clip underneath and um, make that the track mat. So underneath, make that the track mat. And uh, now it's video three, then you get the color back. Super weird, but that's kind of the workaround for it. Once you have your video clip of a texture underneath, the last effect that I would use is posterize time. And then just kind of match whatever your frame rate is in the text. And there you go, super simple texture. And it's actually like kind of too sharp. So what I would do is um, just add some noise to it. Maybe like 65. Yeah, I think that looks kind of cool if you were to overlay that over something. So I got a pool texture underneath. And again, we're gonna apply that posterized time and render that out quick. This effect is really like a trial and error. Sometimes posterized time works, sometimes it doesn't. It really depends on like the clip and the movement within the clip. This is just a simple TV texture. It's going a little too fast in my opinion, but hey, that could be the effect. Uh, but yeah, if you just want to slow that down so the readability is there, I just turned down the frame rate, posterize time effect to six, and there you go. So yeah, that's a, a simple way to get texture in Premiere. It could get the job done depending on what video clip is used underneath. And uh, yeah, there's a bunch of great resources over at mixkit.co. So yeah, go have a look for yourself and make something.